Fox Carolina First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent. Well, it is a stunner of a Tuesday. Look at that blue sky. You can tell there's just not a whole lot of humidity in the air. Feels good to be outside. Temperatures are in the 80s, but again, very tolerable um, outside. Taking a look at Anderson University. In the next 24 hours, things start going downhill a little bit in terms of how it feels outside. It'll start being a little bit more humid during the day tomorrow. But we'll still start off in the 60s, so uh, be ready for that cool feel tomorrow morning. 76 by around 10 a.m. and then by the afternoon, mid 80s. So uh, starting to crank it up just a notch. We'll start to feel just a touch more humid, but I think Wednesday belongs in the good in the good column, but uh, it's going to get hot pretty soon. The next big thing is going to be just how hot it feels outside. Uh, the hottest day right now looks to be Friday and on this graph it shows you um, where, where, what kind of risk level we're looking at. And it's going to be elevated uh, for having issues out in the heat. That's because we're going to be looking at those heat index values between 90 and 95. We're not likely going to see the triple digit feels uh, with this round, thankfully. And as we get to Saturday, it should go down just a touch, but still very high enough where you've got to pay attention to yourself, your kids when they're out and about. And of course, uh, just be careful in that heat. Now, we're also tracking the tropics and we're keeping a close eye on an area off the west coast of Florida that's bringing a lot of heavy rains. Regardless of development, this is going to be a soaker for the Florida Peninsula. I mean, look at all this heavy rain that's just been constant for South Florida. This is expected to move across the Florida Peninsula and out into the uh, on the east off the east coast. About a 20% chance this could become tropical. And if it moves off or off of the Carolina coast, it'll still have a small chance of being tropical. That's indicated by the yellow color there, but it's not expected to move inward. It's going to be moving out, so not a huge impact as it looks right now. And you can see here as we take a look at our latest computer model with it, there's some heavy rain moving out in the Atlantic. Most of it stays offshore, but we may get a few stray showers out of it late week across the Carolina coast. And then we're going to be watching the Gulf of Mexico into this weekend. As that system moves away, a new one emerges into the Gulf. Now, this one also doesn't look like a high likelihood for tropical development, but it's going to bring some heavy rain into parts of Louisiana and Texas. And it's also going to open up the Gulf uh, to increase our rain chances a bit into next week. Right now, though, doesn't look like anything widespread. I'm only going 20% uh, for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. Uh, but up till then, it's going to stay dry and hot. Mid 90s by Friday, close to 90 in the mountains, both Friday and Saturday. And then afternoon storms will return Sunday into early next week. Now, of course, you can download the Fox Carolina First Alert Weather app to keep up with this heat wave and also the tropics. If there's a new development, if we're seeing that this uh, system has an even better chance of becoming tropical, we'll send you an alert straight to your phone. All you have to do is scan that code and download our app for free. Now,